Hey Libra, welcome to your general love reading for December. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone as I am reading for a lot of people. So just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest. Okay? One more and Libra will get into it. Hope you guys are good. Merry Christmas to you all. Okay, the first oracle card you got is white flag. Someone wants another chance to make things right. The desire to do things better. Okay, somebody is acknowledging that their role in the situation and acknowledging the things that they have done. They want another chance, okay? We also got lessons of Saturn with the divine masculine. This is definitely in regards to the masculine uh, wanting another chance here, okay? A soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency. Many challenges, but can bring benevolent long-term rewards. Again, they're realizing what they have done here. Okay, I just got, uh, I just heard, I want forgiveness. Okay, so this person definitely wants forgiveness. Romance angel cards, we got healing family issues. Yes, and worth waiting for. Okay, so this is going to take time to heal from the situation or what they've done to you. And they know this, they know it's gonna take some time to um, get you to hear them out and to forgive them, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's get into it here. Overall energy, we have the Five of Cups, yeah, okay? So somebody feels remorse, okay? Guilt for what, and I just heard, okay, shame. Shame for what they've done, all right? This one, I forget who else had um, guilt and shame, but you can go back in the readings. This person feels bad right now, okay? Um, this is a sense of, because it's the overall, I feel like you also feel a sense of loss because of losing this person or thinking that they were something that they were not. But this person feels bad at the same time for what they've done to you, okay? So let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you, Libra. So right now I see them walking away from the past, okay? Um, they are really missing you, okay? Six of Cups, Eight of Cups. They do miss the good times. They miss just being around you, okay? But they're walking away from how things used to be, okay? How they used to do things. And um, I just heard learning the error of their ways, okay? So they really are um, understanding and really going over with themselves and, and realizing that they need to change, that this is not okay to even treat you this way, but it's not okay to treat other people this way in their life, okay? This could be a long time coming okay but this person has a decision to make okay because we have the two of wands here and we have the nine of swords king of cups so they're definitely afraid right now of losing you because they have a lot of love that they've not even expressed to you okay i i'm seeing here that you may not even know how much this person cares because of their past actions or how much they did really cherish and love you some of the two of wands let's see yeah two of wands empress they want a second chance they want a new beginning to make things right and have this be uh successful and abundant and be able to grow with you be able to uh, uh create a life with you okay let's see what you're doing right now in regards to them Okay, we have Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, Queen of Wands. Okay, I see a couple things here, so let's get into it, okay? For some of you, we have, you are basically taking no prisoners, okay? You are focused on yourself, and at this point, you're like, no, nobody's going to defeat me anymore. I'm going to stand on my own. I don't care who gets hurt or what happens. I am fighting for justice here. I'm fighting for what's right for me. 
okay? Nobody's going to mistreat me anymore. We do have the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Cups, okay? So there's love and passion, okay? You want both, right? But I also see for some situations that there may have been two people involved here, two women, okay? Definitely a fire energy and a water energy here. <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo, Aries, Sag, more on the Leo spectrum, or it could be the energy, okay? Um, but for those that were dealing with another person in the mix, okay, another female, you, at this point, you're like, I don't care. I don't want that, and I deserve something better, so I'm not even going to be upset about it. I'm not even going to be, I don't even want to think about it, okay? For those of you um, that aren't dealing with somebody else, I also see some of you have talked to your girlfriend or have talked to somebody that's um, very special in your life, could be a mother figure, anything, okay? But somebody that you kind of uh, take their advice a lot in life and you really hold them in high regards and respect them and trust their, their opinion. Um, and <clears throat> you're kind of sticking with them and making sure you are uh, keeping s stable in your emotions and what you really want to get out of life. And they're kind of helping you along with that, okay? It doesn't have to be, but that's two scenarios that I see that I'm picking up. Some of this Five of Swords, Page of Swords, yeah. You are ready to, like, investigate anything that comes towards you. You want to know every little detail about somebody or something whether it be a message or some other person telling you oh I talked to that person the other day and they said this you want to find out any information you're not taking anyone's word for anything you are just fine-tuning details out here okay tell me about the Queen of Cups or Pentacles yeah you're really protecting your heart at this time okay you do have a lot of love for this person, but, you know, it's kind of like, it's a lose-lose situation, right? And you see that. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands, yeah. I do see this, you you, you want something new, something fresh, something that's going to spark your interest, something where that person, you know, is, is interested in you and gives you the same uh, energy that you give them okay they give it back to you you want that and I also see too like <clears throat> whoever has like a best friend or a girlfriend um, that's it's really shining through here <clears throat> um, she's really helping you kind of get back on your feet emotionally uh, getting you inspired and you know giving you the courage and the confidence to keep moving on and look at new endeavors in your life, okay, and focus on that. So that's great, okay? You have a little support system here. You don't have to, but that's for a select few, okay? All right, let me see what the challenge was here. Maybe we can get more details on this. Okay, so we have Six of Wands, Hero Font, Queen of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> the, the, there's two things here. The challenge was, and I'm feeling like it's from your part, you want a commitment, okay? You wanted something stable, you wanted to be able to count on this person, because that's screaming loudly here. You wanted to be able to count on this person for anything, and vice versa. Right? You wanted an equal give and take, an equal relationship where even, I just heard, okay, even talking to this person, you wanted to get the same out of them, even, I just heard, even talking about your day. Just, how did it go? How was, it's just even the little things, right? It was very challenging to get things out of this person and it was challenging to get them to commit. Um, and for others that were dealing with another person in the mix, because um, this is showing through too, they could have been married, they could have had an, a wife or been in another commitment and they never, they were, their e, they were so focused on their ego, they didn't let go of the other person and they didn't quite view your feelings as a priority, you know, and so they kind of played 
both sides and they had their cake and ate it too. You know, they were happy and content just, you know, having both and didn't really think about anyone but themselves. Right. Tell me about this uh, Six of Wands. Yeah, Two of Pentacles Sun. So I see some people were juggling others, but with the sun here, it really became burdening. Okay. It became a situation where, uh, I just heard somebody got burnt. So I don't know how that pertains to you. What do you mean somebody got burnt? The situation. Something got found out. I feel like you found out something. All right. Tell me about the hero font here. Hangman. Yeah. There's nothing to be done in this situation. So this, there is like so many people I'm reading for. So there's different situations. So I'm trying to touch on each one. So I don't leave anyone out here. Okay. Um, yes. The people that are dealing with somebody that's married. Okay. Or it has another person or commitment. It could not go anywhere. Right. It's just, again, you know, telling me and straining the fact that this was something where somebody needed to sacrifice something or get a new perspective on how to deal with the situation because three was a crowd, okay? Um, it needed to be, this person needed to be devoted to one person only and it's like, almost like the cycle was coming forward to end uh, naturally anyways and karma was coming back to this person. Because I, I keep hearing throughout the beginning of the reading and I didn't say it because I heard so many other messages. I keep hearing karma's coming, karma's coming, okay? And I think karma is coming for this person, all right? Balance is going to be restored. I mean, you are the scales for crying out loud, right? You are the justice card. That is your card, right? You guys are always fair and always balanced, right? You always try to look at two sides of the coin, you know, and that's something that some people take for granted and they see it as a weakness. And it's not a weakness, it's a strength. And people tend to take advantage of you. And you're to the point, you're like, no, it's not gonna happen. You're in the Five of Swords. You're like, I'm not, and it's not bad, right? But it's like, you are you have spent so much time looking at other people's side and other people's viewpoints, that now you're like, no, I need to be selfish and worry about me. I need to look at what is happening to me and, and what makes me happy, right? Uh, what it, what will be fair for me? It may not be fair for someone else or it might hurt someone else. And that's okay because at least I am okay, you know, because the truth is what sets you free, right? So you're, in the past, you're kind of like, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to say my piece or I don't want to go that route because I don't want to hurt somebody. Now you're like, it, it is what it is. If it hurts the other person, at least it's my truth. And it's what's going to make me happy. And it's what, you know, I want out of my life. Okay. Let me, I keep rambling. Let's move on here. All right. Let's see what they, how they feel about you in the current moment. This is very interesting reading. Uh, this is a lot about forgiveness and life soul lessons, right? We have the Hermit, Seven of Swords. That's so weird because I saw the Seven of Swords in my mind's eye. Uh, somebody sneaking out, but <clears throat> uh, it just came out. So Hermit, Seven of Swords with the King of Wands, okay, and Seven of Wands. So they feel like for right now they're hiding out, okay. Um, they feel like also you two are trying to avoid them, right, and they know that you're like, kind of defensive right now. Like you're protecting yourself, like they get it, right? But all I keep getting here is they're hiding out, but they still have a lot of passion for you. They still want to make things work with you. Tell me about this King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Six of Swords, yeah. They just want, they want to be able to move on from this, get your forgiveness and put the past behind. That's the message in the beginning too wanting to put the past behind them okay and wanting you to get you to put the past behind and they're trying to really figure out here with the two of wands empress how to do that how to get you 
to see their side a little bit and get be able to move on. Like they kind of want to move strategically here. Yeah, in the seven of wands, king of or seven of swords, king of wands, and they want to strategically figure out what can I do. Uh, what what would make them feel for me or what would it's not in a bad way though because I know a lot of you are gonna be like you know I'm done with this person I don't want to that's fine you know I, I absolutely agree whatever is healthy for your life whatever you need to do do it if you just want this for information that's perfectly fine right but I'm just showing you what the cards say okay tell me about the seven of wands yeah Exactly. They're, I mean, they're still fighting for this, right? But they know, they know uh, you're protecting yourself, right? We have the two of cups, seven of cups, and the three of pentacles, right? Not knowing, they're just really trying to sift through there in the seven of cups and how to figure out how to work together to get this union back, to get this, you guys back on the same page here. All right, let me see what action they're going to take towards you in the month of December. It just hurts. Some of you are really, really hurting. Because I, yeah, the energy is really thick. I just heard, I'm so hurt. I don't know if I can ever go back, right? And for you guys, I'm sorry. I, I know, I know that pain, right? Hang in there. We'll we'll get through this, right? Let's. All right. We have chariot, six of pentacles, four of swords, eight of pentacles. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They're working on a way to get you to understand and to give you little bits at a time. Okay, they're gonna try to stick around. They're not going anywhere, and they know they're gonna be rejected by you many times over but they're not really giving up. They're gonna put as much effort as they can. Uh, I just heard I'm gonna die trying. So this person's not giving up till the end, till the death, right? Tell them with the Eight of Pentacles. And they really are thinking about it here in the Four of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess. This person's also trying to let their intuition guide them, right? They're trying to work on their issues to clear almost the mind body soul here and try to figure out how can I do this what do I need to learn and that's really what they need to do is work on themselves first you know before they try and love themselves first before they try to come towards you right all right tell me those four swords judgment yeah exactly it's it's almost like that one shot deal and I another um Another zodiac sign had this too, one shot. Um, but they know that they possibly only have one shot at this. So the first time they come towards you, they need to make it right, right? But they know it's gonna take several times. You may reject them over and over, and they know that, right? But they're not giving up, and they're not giving up to the death here. All right, let me see what the outcome is here. All right, we have Page of Wands, Wheel. So yes, definitely they are going to contact you. This could possibly be a message on social media or even just little things like liking a post and then commenting on it or Instagram, something like that. Okay, something small. And that's what I saw here with the Six of Pentacles chariot. Uh, we have the Lovers, Four of Cups, and the King of Swords. So... A conversation is coming okay and or message text message and I feel like though for you guys look we have the lovers four cups it's just disappointing right it the the, the connection is so extreme and so um, intense that this you thought it was gonna go a different route and you're like I because what I see from you guys is you're like you know what I have put my all into this. I have put, I have even, okay, so I just heard I've put more than I've ever put into any other relationship. I have opened up um, to be vulnerable with this person. And I normally don't do that, you know? And 
you're just so disappointed and sad that you know that you thought this was would really go far really would go somewhere and it didn't and it's disappointing and you're also going to be disappointed i see here with how this person is coming towards you right but slowly with the king of swords okay there's logic put in place here you're able to see clearly what is going on okay and that's a good thing come with the king of swords because you're not really putting your heart out there king of swords knight of cups yeah you're able to see what that this person truly loves you that, that they're slowly right that you, they felt more for you and that's what i felt in the beginning they felt more for you than you really thought they just didn't say it and their actions were not were horrible i mean the reactions were not good in the sense of how they treated you okay all right let me see if i can get some advice for you guys because i think you need it we have the star card here okay this is all about healing and hope right we have the star five of pentacles and the tower the advice here is don't lose hope right for those of you that do want this you still still can have what you want right but it's going to take some healing and forgiveness right we always want to forgive not for other people but for ourselves to release that burden and toxicity right we also have the five of pentacles so no longer coming from a place of lack right it's really at your fingertips you can have what you want if it's this person or within another person but it's about lessons we go through really hard tough lessons and we you know we learn from them but you know the way we move on is when we learn from them we don't make that same mistake right you also have the tower so sometimes things in life they may we see it from our own perspective and i'm not saying you guys are just looking at your perspective because you guys look at everyone's perspective but when something hurts so bad we focus only on what they've done and how horrible they are and we kind of like stamp it and go you know what they're that type of person right spirits asking you to with the tower card here and advice not only is change inevitable, right? And people do change. Um, sometimes we need to look at things from a different perspective, coming out of our own emotions because our emotions are so extreme here too with the tower, right? And we need to release that and, and you know, heal from it and then look at things with a clear head. And that's why I think the King of Swords keeps coming out too. Or not keep coming out, but the Swords. Um, page of swords you had to right you want mental clarity and we have you it's just once you can do that and you can look at it and go you know what this person did really hurt me but I'm not gonna put this person in a box I'm not gonna put people in a box I'm not gonna put stigmas on them right I'm gonna see it from their perspective maybe I'll hear them out you know and when you hear them out you might all of a sudden feel like, whoa, you know, I, I sense some, I can see, maybe if I put myself in that position, maybe I could see why they made that choice. You know, you just never know. So that's the advice. So there's, that tells me there's something that needs to be looked at here. Okay. Within the other person, because otherwise spirit wouldn't give it to me. Okay. Whether it's just forgiveness, basically. Right. But I am there for you guys. I will see what happens next month. I wish you all the best. Let me know what happens uh, in the comments or your life or if this is your situation or this resonates. Um, you know, we're, we'll, we're going to get through this. We're going to look, you know, next month, see what's going on. All right. Libra, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Okay. Merry Christmas and uh, only positive attitude and blessings for you. I'm sending all the love and light energy towards you uh, through this time. And um, you just, you guys just stay safe, okay? All right.